your educational game rubric is more of a checklist. Uh, I'm not sure what to expect, uh, but I'm giving you guys some clear things that need to be part of your games. So starting off, you need to have a home page, title page. Uh, that you need to press enter space to do something. You need to be able to start the game, quit the game, get to a help page, which will have clear directions and a tutorial showing you how to play the game. So that brings you to the help page. The help page has to have a way to start the game, quit the game, your directions and the tutorial. The game over, screen. When you lose the game, when you run out of whatever you run out of, you need to find a way to restart the game, quit it to completely close it out. Something that brings you to help, which also then has your tutorial on it. Um, you should also have a way to go back to the home screen. The game one screen, same thing. Restart, quit, help, so on. There are, within your first level, you need a main character or something that has some form of movement. It needs an objective. I'm looking for animated sprites, moving objects, a clear and coherent theme. It needs to be creative and you need a scoreboard that is visible that transitions into your other levels. Level two, same exact stuff. Main character, objective. Uh, it needs a different objective than the first level. It needs to be a completely different level. Level three, same idea. I'm looking at the object behavior, how it moves, how it stops. Do the players appear to be walking in the proper direction or moving in the proper direction? Um, each level needs a different way to gain the score. Since each level is different, the scoring should be different. Uh, the scoreboard needs to be visible. I need to see the score increment. I need to see the lives within it. And there needs to be a way to show that the game won. Uh, looking for sound within it. Everybody should be placing sounds. And then your feature tree at the end. I will be looking at the feature tree. Depending on how this comes in, if you are giving me a game maker file, I'm expecting you to zip the entire folder and send me the entire folder zip so I can unzip it and look at everything as if it was on your computer. Uh, and then here's another little checklist for how I'm kind of scoring it. This is very much the same thing that I've provided you on other assignments. I will be going through this checklist looking for all of those items. If you have any questions, please ask. If there's something that doesn't make sense, please let me know.